The Prime Minister is a novel by Anthony Trollope and is part of his Palliser series. It explores themes of power, politics, marriage, and the conflict between personal ambition and public service, set against the backdrop of the British parliamentary system during the Victorian era. The central story revolves around Plantagenet Palliser, the Duke of Omnium, who reluctantly accepts the role of Prime Minister of England, despite doubts about his political prowess and a lack of leadership experience. His wife, Lady Glencora, is however more ambitious and enthusiastic about their rise to the pinnacle of British social and political life. She throws herself into the role of political hostess, hoping to bolster her husband's position through social influence. Their closest friend and political ally is Ferdinand Lopez, a financially ambitious man of undetermined origins who marries Emily Wharton, the daughter of a wealthy and traditional London lawyer. Lopez is a charming and socially skilled manipulator who aspires to climb the social ladder and achieve a political career. However, his pursuit of wealth and power leads to morally dubious business dealings and eventually to his downfall. Lopez persuades Emily to marry him, despite her father's strong objections to Lopez's unclear background and dubious character. After they marry, it's revealed that Lopez has overextended himself financially, and he begins to press for financial support from both Mr. Wharton and the Duke, exploiting his political connections. As Prime Minister, the Duke's idealism and integrity make him unsuited to the practicalities of party politics, and his tenure is marked by difficulties. He struggles with the demands of leadership and the unsavory aspects of political maneuvering. The Duke's disinterest in personal power is at odds with the traditional party system, where loyalty and power plays are crucial for survival. Lady Glencora attempts to sway political results through lavish parties and social engineering, but her endeavors often overstep the boundaries of propriety. Her well-intentioned but unorthodox methods create tension and attract criticism from both the public and their political peers. Lopez's financial troubles intensify, and he unsuccessfully tries to blackmail the Duke, demanding financial aid by insinuating that his marriage and political ambitions were endorsed by the Duke. Lopez's demands cause a scandal when they become public, resulting in a political crisis for the Prime Minister. Emily, now aware of her husband's true nature, becomes increasingly estranged from Lopez and endures the fallout from his actions. Mr. Wharton, in a bid to protect his daughter, ends up providing some financial support to Lopez, attempting to prevent further disgrace. Amid the scandal, the Duke is criticized for his handling of the situation and faces pressure from his political party. Feeling responsible for Lopez's rise and perturbed by the unhappy marriage of Emily and Lopez, as well as the public criticism, the Duke contemplates resignation. His introspection reveals a deep conflict between his duties as a statesman and his personal values. As the pressure intensifies, Lopez's life spirals out of control and he commits suicide, leaving Emily a widow burdened with the social stain of his dishonor. The Duke's consternation over the scandal and his unease with the morally murky waters of politics eventually lead him to resign his post as Prime Minister. His resignation is accepted with regret by the Queen, who has grown to respect his integrity. After resigning, the Duke is crushed by the sense of failure and is comforted by his wife, who assures him of his worth and their love for each other. Though their political ambitions have ended, they find solace in their relationship and in the Duke's true passion, his estate and the well-being of his tenants. Emily, now a widow, finds support from her father, who regrets having pushed her towards the disastrous marriage. Eventually, she finds solace in rekindling a relationship with Arthur Fletcher a former suitor whom she had rejected for Lopez. Despite her father's initial skepticism, Mr. Wharton eventually consents to the match, recognizing Arthur's steadfast character. In the end, the Prime Minister paints a picture of the often unseen costs of political life and the trials individuals face when their principles are at odds with their ambitions. Through the rise and fall of the Duke's political career and the intertwined fates of Lopez, Emily, and Arthur Fletcher, Trollope explores the complexities of Victorian society, highlighting the challenging balance between personal morality and public responsibility.